Luminel has developed a new, reliable and powerful LED floodlight made for demanding applications. The main benefits are high light quality, low power consumption, maintenance free with a lifetime of more than 10 years. We want to verify the product reliability with extreme accelerated tests and therefore we contacted Delta. Delta has the facilities to run these tests and we are very satisfied. These tests will give us confidence in our dialogue with our customers. Port Highly Accelerated Life Testing is a design tool aimed at identifying potential design weaknesses in products. The weaknesses are identified by performing step stress testing until failure, bypassing the failure and stepping up the stress until the next failure and so on until the limit of technology has been reached. The product is installed on vessels with a lot of vibrations and therefore it's very important to simulate these. We also supply our products to extreme cold and hot environments such as the Arctic and Brazil. The applied stress depends on the relevant failure mechanisms of a given product. It could be thermomechanical, it could also be humidity, EMC, corrosion, or whatever it takes to produce the relevant failures. The testing is performed at extreme levels in order to identify the weaknesses as fast as possible. Even though the test levels are way beyond specification limits, investigations show that the failures identified during HOT correspond very well with field failures. A hot chamber like this produces thermomechanical stresses like extreme temperatures, very fast temperature cycling up to 60 degrees per minute and six axis random vibration from 2 Hz up to 20 kHz at a level of up to 70 GMS or combinations of these. The LED floodlight is going to be exposed to rapid thermomechanical hot consisting of low and high temperature characterization and combined temperature cycling and vibration. Halt is a process rather than merely a test. When the root causes of the failures have been investigated and the relevant failures fixed, you have a more reliable product, reduced service and warranty costs and shorter time to market. We performed rapid halt with a high and low temperature characterization, combined yeah. temperature and vibration over a full day. Yeah. Uh, we found the operating, low operating limit to minus 50 degrees mm -hmm. and low destruct limit to minus 70 degrees. Okay. At minus 70 degrees, the power supply ceased to start up. Okay. We got to 80 degrees mm -hmm. and 70 GMS. Yeah. Uh, you have designed a simple and very robust product, mm. uh, so we only found one issue. Highly accelerated corrosion testing is a new corrosion test developed by Delta. It is based on the Hort philosophy, utilizing high stresses to failure in order to identify potential weaknesses in designs. Hat stress is a combination of increased temperature and humidity, cyclic spraying with cold aerated salt water 
and cyclic drying with high airflow, adding oxygen to the corrosion process. This combination has proven to give relevant results in a very short time. It is crucial for Luminel to simulate the corrosive offshore environment, and therefore the hack test is important. This test will tell us something about uh, our choice of materials and possible corrosion challenges. Uh, we have performed three weeks of hacked and are now performing the visual inspection mm -hmm. after the hacked. Um, there's no water accumulation here. Yeah. There's only uh, a slight corrosion around the screws here and here yeah. where different types of materials are meeting. Yeah. And there's not even cor severe corrosion uh, near the cutout you've made. Okay, yeah. uh, this implies it's quite a robust product, bearing in mind that we have performed something equivalent of around about 15 years of real life use in a maritime environment. Okay. EMC Hold is an accelerated test where the applied stress is electrical disturbance signals. The signals can be extreme supply voltages, extreme transient signals, high amplitude electromagnetic fields, or even a combination of these signals. Maritime electrical installations can be a challenge. Through the EMC hall test, we will know how much power line disturbance our products can handle over time and what our limits are. The transient signals are injected via the cables, or applied using a specialized workbench Faraday cage. The transients have a very short rise time and a high amplitude in order to induce a large signal into the test object. The test object did not respond to, to the ultra-wideband pulses. No damages were made to the test object. In the test chamber, the electromagnetic field can penetrate into the test object through the front glass, or it can be coupled as a signal picked up by the power cable. The test object responded to the electromagnetic field by showing slight variations in the light intensity at a field strength of about 250 volts per meter. No damages occurred to the test object. <laughs> 